what exactly do I mean by the line of revelation and the line of manifestation? I believe you want to know, and that is the reason why I have done this video. Um, the line of revelation and the line of, ma of manifestation, they are never two parallel lines. I'm sure you know what I mean by parallel lines. I don't mind me, I was a mathematics teacher for so many years. So I believe you should understand what I mean by parallel lines. Parallel lines are lines that can never meet. They will never meet. But in this situation, the line of manifestation, the line of revelation and the line of manifestation, they are never parallel lines. They are what we call intersecting lines. Now, I've just used another mathematics term. Intersecting lines are lines that cross each other. Lines that cross each other. You know, parallel lines can never cross each other. But intersecting lines can cross each other. I'm sure you can see that from the diagram. So, inter line of manifest revelation and line of manifestation. Where did I get that? You know, whatever we teach at the Visionary Business Project, we use... Biblical, uh, biblical principles, we use stories from the Bible to teach these sources principles and they are principles that we have followed and we have seen results. Yeah. Every principle in the scripture, in the word of God, we always produce results. Now, I want you to see this story. It's in the book of Genesis chapter 42 and verse 6 and 7 and it is, it is the story, I'm sure you can see the Bible text on your screen it is the story of joseph very popular story very popular story um, how, how did i did i bring out uh, two intersecting lines from this story i want you to listen to it genesis chapter 42 verse 6 and 7 and joseph was the governor over the land and he it was that sold to all the people of the land and joseph's brethren came joseph's brothers came and bow down themselves down before him with their faces to the heart now verse 7 and joseph saw his brother and he knew them but they but made himself strange unto them and spoke roughly unto them and he said unto them when come you and they said from the land of canaan to buy food and let me quickly read verse 8 and 9 and joseph knew his brothers but they knew him not and verse 9, and Joseph remembered the dreams which he dreamed of them. He remembered the dream which he dreamed of them. Now, you know the story. Very popular story. Joseph had a dream. A dream where his brothers were bowing to him. And he told them as a child, he made a mistake of telling them this dream. And then they hated him. And he told them that the second dream, and the Bible says they hated him the more. And you know the story. He was sold into slavery. In Egypt, was sold into slavery in Egypt for 13 good years. He suffered a lot. Suffered and now Joseph um, had, had become the governor in Egypt. As he said, Joseph was now the governor over the land and was farming everywhere. And from Canaan, his brothers came to meet him. Now, when he had that dream, when he had that dream, the line of revelation came into existence. The line of revelation came into existence when he had that dream. It looked as if he was crazy, as he was crazy. But the line of revelation had already been drawn. Whenever you have a revelation from God, immediately that has been given to you. A line of revelation had been drawn. Now, the moment it was drawn, then the line, because he believed, because he believed the word of the Lord, he believed the vision the Lord showed him, and he began to comport himself based on that revelation. Then the line of manifestation began to happen. It came into existence, and Joseph never knew, but it came to his and became longer and longer and was moving towards the line of revelation. The line of manifestation was moving towards the line of revelation now. The period when he told his brother, the period he was thrown into the pit, the line of manifestation was growing, was growing in length. Then the period he was working in Potiphar's house, it was growing in length. 
the line of manifestation was growing in length. The period when he was in the prison, the line of manifestation was growing in length. Remember that he had the, the butler uh, to, 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 to remember him whenever he got out. Now, that one forgot to remember for about two years. Now, during that period, the line of manifestation was growing towards the line of revelation that had been drawn. Joseph never knew. Joseph never knew. Joseph never But Joseph stood with God. That is what you have to do. Whenever you are in the process of fulfilling a vision, you have been given a vision, you have a revelation given to you by God, appointing yourself, you are obedient to God's instructions, you have to stay with God. Joseph was staying with God. He stood with God. He stood with God and the line of manifestation kept on growing. Kept on going, moving towards the line of revelation. It was moving towards the intersecting point. It was moving towards the intersecting point. And then Joseph was comporting himself very well. There was a time Potiphar's wife wanted him to sleep with her. But Joseph said, no, I can't do this and sin against God. Now, when you are in the process of fulfilling a vision, you have to comport yourself according to the will of God, according to the instructions of God. You don't get into sinful activities. Don't get into sinful activities. You bring yourself always in the presence of God. Getting into the presence of God in your place or you are in the presence of God. You don't want to do anything that is contrary to it. So because you are running towards the revelation, because the line of manifestation has been drawn and is growing already, you are waiting for that day when it is going to cross the line of revelation. Now, that happened in the case of Joseph. It happened and Joseph was the governor over the land and his brothers came to bow down to him. Just like the dream he saw. And the Bible says he remembered that dream. He remembered that dream. This has happened in my life on so many occasions. At the beginning of my ministry, when I just gave my life to Jesus Christ, I was waiting for a job, a job that was not there. I was writing application, waiting, and I was praying. I was a Christian. A new Christian, a newly born again Christian. Then I saw a revelation. The Lord gave me a revelation of uh, uh, the name of a company that we run today, Zare Path Publishing, and I was surprised. What's the meaning of this? I never knew I would be an author. I never knew I would run a publishing company. I got that revelation. I wrote it down. At that point in time, the line of revelation came into existence, and because I believed and I wrote it down, the line of manifestation began to grow. Today, Zaripa Publishing is the publisher of a lot of books. It has helped a lot of people online. It has added values to us and values even to a lot of people. So the line of revelation and the line of manifestation, there are two intersecting. One day, they will cross. And at that intersecting point, that is when the revelation becomes physical. Now, the revelation became physical. The brothers bowed down to him. Remember, he went to bring the other brother benjamin and his father and they came also they bowed down to him according to the vision god has shown him so you need to persevere you need to be patient with god you should understand the moment god gives you a revelation a line of revelation has come into existence now when you believe and you begin to comfort yourself based on that revelation you should understand that there is a line of manifestation that is growing in length by the day and it is going to meet that, that point, get to the point of intersecting with the line of revelation one day. You should believe that. I believe you have enjoyed this teaching. I want you to share this video. I want you to like, um, I want you to like this video. I want you to share with your friends. Subscribe to our channel so that you can receive notification whenever we release more videos from the Visionary Business Project. Thank you very much and God bless you.